Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chegudero, and today we're going to begin with a new topic, which is Module 2 My Wake Sing a Song. Before we begin the lesson, let me go through with you first a few vocabulary for today's lesson. Together, read after me. Are you ready? Art Art Music Music P.E. P.E. For your information, P.E. is an abbreviation for Physical Education or in BM, we call it as Pendidikan Jasmani Maths Maths This is also another short form for Mathematics Mathematics Science Science Social Studies Social Studies In BM, we call it as Pengajian Sosial Writing Writing So that's all for the words that you need to learn for today And now, I'm going to play a video for you And together, we listen and sing I'm really good at writing I'm good at science too I'm very good at maths How about you? 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 I love art and social studies I like music and P2 But English is my favorite subject How about you? 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 Okay, so how was the song? Do you like it? Today, we are going to practice and focus on two structures. The first one will be What's your favorite subject? And I make a little changes for and I make a little changes for the way we answer to the question. Instead of saying science, we should answer in a complete sentence. That is, my favorite subject is science. Remember, whenever people ask us question, we will always need to reply with a complete sentence. Now, we are going to try on a few examples using the structure. In this picture, it is obviously a boy is doing some sports activity. My question is, Jack likes sports. What's his favorite subject? As I mentioned earlier, the boy was doing some sports activity. The statement say, Jack likes sport. So what subject do you think that is the most suitable for Jack? It's PE or physical education. We are not going to answer it with just physical education. As I mentioned earlier, we have to answer it in a complete sentence. So how's the answer going to be? His favorite subject is PE. PE is the answer, but to complete the answer, we put in his favorite subject. Basically, we only need to refer to the structure given in the question, and that is when we take again the structure for the question and convert it into the sentence for our answer. Cherry likes playing guitar. What's her favorite subject? Guitar is only related to one subject, which is music. So obviously, the answer here, so obviously, the most suitable subject for Cherry is music. And the complete answer would be her favorite subject 
is music. Number three, Tom and Betty like numbers. If we look at the picture, obviously they like numbers because there are so many mathematical equations and they are so attracted to them. The question here is, what's their favorite subject? Why is the question using their? This is because there are two people mentioned in the question, which is Tom and Betty. In English, anything that is more than one, we will need to use the subject pronoun they to represent the people or things. So in this condition, there are two people, so it's already more than one. Therefore, the subject pronoun used to replace Tom and Betty is they. However, when we want to use demonstrative pronoun, a suitable demonstrative pronoun for they is their. That is why the question uses what's their favorite subject. When we answer in a complete sentence, it should be their favorite subject is maths. So that's the end of our lesson today. Our lesson is pretty short for today. Here, I have prepared a homework for you in the form of Google exercise. Feel free to just go to the description below this video and click on it to do it straight away. And if you're a teacher and you would like to make a copy of my Google Form exercise, I have provided the link as well in the video description. Feel free to just click on it and make a copy for your students. As usual, don't forget to visit my Facebook page Chegudero and give it a like as well as subscribe my YouTube channel. Don't forget to press the bell beside the subscribe button so that you will always get the first hand video whenever I upload a new video into my playlist. With that, I would like to thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next lesson. Bye!